I'm aware that, um, that Governor Serra will be leaving and you will be, so to speak, taking the Olympic flag of the urban age over and hosting us next year. Perhaps you might want to make a few comments before you leave, and okay. then I'll come to you, if that's all right. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> well, uh, we have heard in this two-day conference about the various, various challenges of governing the mega city of Mumbai. Mumbai. Uh, as we look forward to the Urban Age South America Conference in Sao Paulo, I would like to stress how critical it is for political leadership to address these concerns. In Sao Paulo, uh, improving the governance structure would require three processes of change that are very difficult, but not impossible to implement in the medium and long term. First, uh, we need to create a single transport authority in metropolitan regions, which could consist of a council with representatives from states and cities. In Brazil, a change of this nature requires the need for a constitutional amendment, something that, in spite of the magnitude, could be achieved in the medium term. Today, each of the 39 cities of the Sao Paulo metropolitan area has full autonomy to manage all aspects of local transportation, creating an irration irrationally inefficient system of transportation as for its structure and function. Second, uh, we need a national fiscal system reform. There is a federal fund in Brazil that transfer more than a fifth of the two most important federal taxes to the cities. But the formula of distribution not only ignores the territorial basis of where those taxes uh, were levied, but takes as a constant any population higher than 160,000 inhabitants. Uh, that is, cities of 1 million or 11 million people receive the same amount that a city of 160,000 inhabitants. Uh, the available uh, income uh, tax revenue per habitant per capita in the larger cities are lower than in the smaller cities. Uh, this is a distortion, uh, taking into account the different levels of uh, expenditures they need. Third uh, condition, th there is also a third condition that strongly affects governance in a way that is very adverse to Brazilian larger cities, the electoral system. In Brazil, the representatives are elected proportionally by states and not by districts. For instance, in the state of Sao Paulo, we elect 70 federal representatives. Each candidate must campaign for votes in the whole state, among 27 million voters. Uh, I was representative two times, and I was voted in 640 cities uh, out of a total of 60, uh, 656, but uh, I have never been in 90% of those uh, cities. In practice, this uh, uh, brings to an under-representation of metropolitan regions, because smaller cities tend to concentrate the vote in one candidate that will represent the region, the city. Whereas in metropolitan areas, electoral preferences are more pulverized and vote, votes tend to be dispersed among several candidates. Uh, for instance, although it is home to 50% of the voters of the state of Sao Paulo, uh, the metropolitan area elects only about 25% of representatives. Uh, the same happens in other metropolitan regions of Brazil. This, of course, undermines the region's weight and influence in the distribution of state and federal resources. Well, we we'll have a lot to discuss in Sao Paulo. Let me tell you that uh, Sao Paulo is considered to be one of the most miscegenated cities in the world that gathers people from the whole world and from the whole Brazil. 
as we say, you know, you are in Sao Paulo, when you meet Japanese or Korean people speaking Portuguese with an Italian accent. Uh, this is our greatest wealth and one that we are very proud uh, of. In this sense, we are very happy to welcome the urban age group in our city. I am sure the contribution to our policies will be very important. The comparative analysis between great urban conglomerates of the world, the problems they face and how they solve them and also the enormous intellectual capital accumulated in this series of seminars make us very eager to be object of your attention. We hope to meet in Sao Paulo next year as our honored guests. Thank you. <laughs>